Hi, it's Wolf from StormtheCastle.com, and this is a blacksmithing tutorial on the basic hammer strikes between the hammer and the anvil. And there's eight of them that I'm going to show to you. And uh, you might think, you know, when you think of blacksmithing, you say, oh yeah, you're going to hammer on that anvil and hammer your piece. But actually, you have to think of it's there's a lot more to it than that. And actually. There is more to it than just the hammer, and this may sound silly, but there's the hammer and the anvil, and those are two tools that you're using to um, to shape your metal, to forge and shape and bend and do whatever to your metal. So you have to think about it as two tools. They're actually compressing the metal between those two. So remember that. So I'm going to go over the eight basic hammer strikes when it comes to blacksmithing. Okay, the first two strikes are parallel, and this is what we always think of when you're just pounding flat down on the metal. Right? Often you see it this way. Parallel striking. Just parallel to the anvil. The anvil and the hammer are parallel. So what I would do is, the hammer and the anvil are parallel to each other, and I would strike it like that. And then you've got angle strikes, like this, where you're hitting it at an angle, so you're forming a, an angle. Now, commonly, I don't just do this, Then, when you're doing the other side, the, you hold the piece at the angle. See so how I have this at an angle here? You hold the piece at an angle like this, and you also strike at an angle. I would be raising this up and then striking it this way to form uh, our point. That's a full faced angle blow. So there we go. Parallel striking and angle striking. Okay, the next type of strikes, the next two type of hammer strikes or hammer blows are called a half face. And there's two types of those. There's a near half there's a near half face strike. Well you put the you put the metal on the edge like this and then the hammer is halfway off and you strike. See that what happens here? Causes this shape. See it? That's the near face hammer strike. Because the hammer is the because we're hammering on the near side of the anvil. Strike it halfway off the anvil and halfway on the anvil. So that causes this center section to be to be a center, you see, like this. Strike it like that. Okay, this hammer blow is a half face on the far side. So same thing applies. The hammer is halfway over. You see what happens? So it forms this shape right here. This is the far end um, half face hammer blow. Like this. And the hammer is halfway off and halfway, halfway on the anvil. See it? Okay, the next two type of hammer blows are edge hammer blows. Uh, both near and far. Now, important thing about this is the um, hammer can be in a comfortable position like this, kind of like at an angle, like this. It doesn't have to be this way, and it doesn't go overlap the, the anvil, it goes to the end of the anvil like this. So what happens is, on the near side, I'll be hitting it here like this, and that will be squeezing this part down, but leaving this part full. And on the far side, a very similar thing. I'll be hitting it like this, and it will be squeezing this part down and leaving a fatter part there. So those are edge hammer blows. Uh, both near and far. Um, a near hammer blow would be like this. And then I would strike it like this. So the hammer is completely over the anvil. See that? There we go. See that? Okay, so now here's an edge hammer blow on the far side. Where I lean it over and then I will hit it here and not go past the line of the anvil.
See how it compresses it? The hammer is completely over the anvil. Okay, the next two types of hammer blows are back face and shearing. So the interesting thing about back face hammer blows is it also does something called upsetting the metal. So I'd put this here and I'd hit it this way. And I can't really, here we go. So this upsets the metal. It will actually uh, make it thicker here and bigger. Uh, back face hammer blow. And this upsets the metal and pushes it and makes this section larger. But then there's also shearing, where you blow it here, like this on the edge, and you shear the metal right off. Where this is all red hot and ready to go, and then I would strike it this way to shear off this metal, it would break off. There we go, sheared that piece right off.